Hey Libra, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome back, welcome in, welcome in, welcome back. Interesting. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. You don't have to be a Libra. Anybody's welcome to these messages. If it doesn't fit, just try a different message, okay? I'm going to start with the Work Your Light Energy of Oracles here. Let's see what comes through for Libra. Oh, sweetheart. Mirror who or what is triggering you. And the ever unfolding rose. This is happening for you, not to you. This is like when we don't understand why a change is happening, so we're trying to fight it because we're worried that something really bad's going to happen, but actually something better is going to happen. We just don't know that yet. My forehead. Um, wow, it's been a long time since I've channeled that. Yeah, Queen of Swords, Libra. You might be a little bit um, harsh right now. You might be a little cold right now. You might be a little in your dark feminine is what I mean right now. Um, <clears throat> a little feisty, a little spicy, right? A little on edge. You're a spiritual warrior and your alarms are going off. You're a psychic medium on high alert. Like, you're paying very close attention to all of the details. The little ones, the words used, how they were used, right? How someone's voice said it. Even the speed at which they say it. The time of day they say it. How they say it. Text, call to your face. Like, what's up? Tell me how you really feel. Damn. Let's um keep going. Excuse you guys. We'll get there. Yeah. Tell me about this poor Libra that's going through it here. This one is the Everyday Witch Tarot. The Nine of Pentacles. Going through it alone. Maybe that's why it's quiet today. Have you noticed that? It's really quiet. Like, there's conversations going on, but it's not as loud as it normally is. It's very overcast in my area as well. That might have something to do with it. Um, yesterday I purged a lot. That might be, that might have something to do with why it's so quiet for me right now. But I, what I'm... Getting, like, for the collective is just, it's quiet. Three of Pentacles. You're mastering something here on your own. Being very constructive in your solitude. I'm getting a lot of self-work that you're doing here. So a lot of spending some one-on-one -on -one in the mirror. And no, we don't always like everything that we see, but you're addressing this. What can I do about this? And here you are doing the research, saving up the money. Finding the time in your schedule. Um, I just actually heard carving some time in your schedule. Okay. I'm um, also seeing somebody taking a pen to paper here. Oh, interesting. This one's got paintbrush in her hand. I feel like these are all versions of you just in different vibrations, different frequencies, different moods. 
throughout this process. It's like there's phases to this. This is something you had to work hard on. Like a book. Do you know how many drafts there are before we get to the final? There's editors involved. There's publishing involved. There's all kinds of stuff involved. Illustration. Wait, I think I said that already. Maybe there's a struggle with the illustration or something. What is the illustration? It's trying to capture an image, sometimes from a feeling, to describe a feeling. That's not always an easy task. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe the divine's trying to show you something, but it's hard to see. Or maybe you're trying to get somewhere, but oh, the road, man. It's dangerous. It's weathered. I feel like the universe is asking you to not trust more because I feel like you do trust. Um, that's the only thing getting you through right now, actually. But to let go. Let go a little more. Maybe a lot more, actually. But only in some areas. It's scary. Because it's so quiet. It's never been a scarier time to jump. Five of Cups, Ace of Cups. I'm so sorry. I'm not hungry, I promise. My stomach's just being loud. Five of Cups. I'm not getting what I normally get with the Five of Cups. With the Five of Cups, you are fully fucking aware there are two cups still on the table, but these three fell. All the focus is on the three that fell because they were so important. They were so necessary. They were so... I can feel your pain, Libra. This Five of Cups is making me feel like, well, fuck it. What do I have to lose now? Those two cups are not going to cut it. That is not enough. The Ace of Cups, though, I feel like this is what we don't see, what we're not aware of. That's right behind the five. I can't put my finger on this. Five of wands. Is this conflict internal? It is. Four of swords. This is an inner conflict here. You are, you are so conflicted. But what's crazy is beyond the conflict is rest, is peace, is, is fucking after the war and you've showered and now you're ready to get a nice, good sleep in, right? Like, and then the sun after that, and then you're going to wake up to a bright sun and shiny day. Like, this is so weird to me. It's almost like the moment you emotionally let go of something like this is an internal coming to terms with that's the type of letting go this is this isn't cutting somebody out this isn't throwing an object out this is this is this is shadow work this is an internal something that you hold on to once upon a time, this happened and it fucking changed me. For some of you, this is stuff going on right now. You're like, why do I keep losing? What the fuck? Oh, 
can't wait to tell you, but it has to wait. Anyways. Oh, I hear you so loud and clear. You don't even realize. Look, king of swords to match your queen. When I tell you, I fucking hear you. And I'm not the only one. There are so many people in our own way. I know what I'm asking you to do when I'm asking you to just let go of those three cups. It's not just let go of those three cups. It is insane to think of letting go of any of it. <laughs> but there is a higher level of understanding, right? That's the difference from the queen to the king is a higher level of understanding. There is a higher level of understanding here. And if you allow yourself to look at this from a different angle, it's like, that's it. That's the snap of the fingers. That's the flip of the switch. That's the thing that shifts all of this. Look at that. Seven of wands. Now, instead of being um, defensive, you're defending that peace that you just created. Bringing an end to the Ten of Wands, the difficulties. And instead, now you have the Ten of Cups. This is crazy. This is really about coming to peace about something that you have not come to peace with. Like you're really carrying this heavy on you. For others... Your situation isn't working because there's too much heavy to it. The divine is trying to physically pick you up and put you somewhere else. And you are scratching and biting and kicking and screaming. And you're not understanding this is God's hand. You're thinking this is something else. This is a form of protection. Protecting you. Because you're not in a safe place. You're not surrounded by a safe environment. There's something here. And for a lot of us, it's, it's an internal thing. There's something that's unsafe that you're holding on to. And it's like, I'm uncomfortable. I can't. <laughs> it's almost like a ticking time bomb here. An emotional one. And some of you guys might be, but others of you are on edge because like I said, there's something that's not working and you're trying to defend it. You're doing everything you can to keep this tower standing because you don't realize this is a tower yet. That's what it is. We don't realize it's a tower yet. Until there's a coming to terms with, oh, this is a tower. This wasn't the ten of pentacles. This was the nine. The nine is what gets me to the ten. This was the nine this whole time. I already pulled from this deck. Birthing a new age. Yeah. Did I really just split the deck? Now is a lucky time. The rabbit spirit again. Be open to infinite possibilities. That's what it is. You feel like letting go of something means this maybe but it also means many other things many 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 other things and some of which you're overlooking you're not because you're not there you don't have the full spectrum like you can't see it yet it's not that you don't trust it's that you don't understand You're not supposed to understand. You're supposed to overstand. You jump first. You're not ready to jump. 
Some of you guys aren't ready to let this go. That's the only thing that's holding you back at this point. It's not your job. Let karma do her thing, damn it. Been telling you. I feel like that was an ancestor speaking. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Matter spirit, you are never alone. Electric eel spirit, spirit bring your ideas to life. 42, 24, there's that mirroring energy again. Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. And almost armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. 3, 6, together is 9. You guys... If there's rotting in the woodwork, you got to do what you got to do to keep it healthy again. Remove the rotting, put new stuff in there. This is removing the negative so that new can come in, happy can come in, good can come in. I know it's hard and I know there's a lot of I'm telling you, if I do this, this is going to happen. I get it. I get it. But what if? What if there's something else that could happen? And you just don't see it yet. I don't know how many signs you're going to need, but this is definitely one of them. I fucking hope this is for me too. I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this resonates for who it needs to, how it needs to. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.